guys, this is a replay of a – this is a big play. This is Fancy on offense taking on KMAC. I think this is the game we're going to tune into. But this is uh, KMAC on offense down the seam, intercepted Champ Bailey. So KMAC with the lead, and this is uh, going back the other way as Champ to the 30, and uh, he's going to run right by Rodney Hudson all the way to the crib. Yeah, so that's going to be 10-5. Touchdown, and that's going to be a two-possession lead for KMAC, and that's actually uh, didn't hold. It's now 14-7, but KMAC back on the offensive side of the ball. 4.30 to go in the second quarter. Yeah, that Champ Bailey is such an underrated car. He makes so many plays on the field, and he's so fast. So he's going to break on the ball so fast, just being as fast as he is. I think he has 93 speed once you have Sprinter on him. And then if you have, like, the team cams and different things like that, 94 speed. With a corner that fast and that can play such great man coverage, he's, he's a really a must-have, especially if you're running a lot of man coverage. Luck across the field, and that's going to be intercepted right back the other direction. That's a big play slay. And now Fancy with an opportunity to tie this ball game. While we went to break, guys, we got an update. We know that the drops were broken tonight. We apologize. But we got to make right for you guys. How about this, Boogs? How about we do seven more Troy Polamalu giveaways on top of the big kahuna that will come later tonight? But if you guys don't want the Troy Polamalu, we'll go ahead and give you a, a pack of Peyton Manning, Travis Frederick, Denzel Ward, and Indomitian Sue. All four of those items. You can choose Troy Polamalu, or you can choose Manning, Ward, Frederick, and Sue. And if you win the big kahuna, you get both. Sounds S good to me. Seven more giveaways, ten total on the night. Seven more during the tournament. One big kahuna giveaway after the tournament where you will win Polamalu and those four items. Again, Manning, Ward, Frederick, Sue. I'll take that over drops any day. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take my chances on possibly getting that over some guaranteed silvers any day. I don't know about you, Chet. All day. Yeah, you give me an opportunity to win those. I mean, I, I built the Peyton Manning today. Dude throws lasers. Make sure you guys have some receivers to get open because uh, he's not super mobile, but uh, he's my all-time favorite player in NFL history. I had to put him on my roster. Again, shout-outs to Kralo. Um, Cannot say thank you enough. Uh, it was not on him that the drops were not working tonight, but he is the reason why we're going to be giving away all of these items tonight as a thank you to you guys for tuning into Friday Night Football. Here's Fancy down the seam, and that's going to be Diggs across midfield down to the 48. So Fancy converts there on fourth down. Now trying to tie this ball game up down by seven. TW maybe says, Zan, hook me up. Hey, I, I wish I could, guys. It's all it's all random giveaways in the chat as we have Sharp picking up another first down. And now Fancy moving 11 to 14, 145, one touchdown to go with that one interception. It's a big, big third round game. I mean, these are two really tough players here meeting up. These players have both secured their spot in next week's tournament. And uh, Fancy, he, he unfortunately did not make his club series. He was definitely viewed as a favorite. In fact, Sirius Mo earlier this year said that he chose his club series team to make sure that he stayed away from Fancy. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a tough young player. He's, he's really, he came on the scene last year and really just made a name for himself. Although he didn't win any tournaments or anything like that, he just proved that he was a really tough opponent that you'd have to really respect. And he's not really the matchup that you want when you come into a tournament. So, I mean, I understand completely what Mo was saying there. He's definitely a tough young guy. He's brought that trip tight end look and really just played well in his tournaments and just in online showings as well. Shorten, 24. What do you – you say you – what's a good tip for a beginner to start using man coverage? Uh, if I understand your question correctly, if I'm wrong, just go ahead and – restate the question in a better way for me and just make sure you tag me in the chat because the chat's moving. But, one, get some guys with high man coverage. Get somebody with over 90 man coverage and also get some guys with high press coverage as well. So you want somebody with over, at least over 85 man, I mean, not 85 man, 85 press and then at least 90 man coverage. And then get some speed as well because you need guys that can run with these guys as well. And 
and even if the receivers aren't fast, you want a DB that can break on the ball and that's faster than the receivers if, if possible. Most underrated rating in the game that people don't talk about with man coverage is the agility rating. That's why you're that's why you're Ramsey when he gets beat gets beat is because he's got high man coverage, but really doesn't have any agility to go with that because uh, I know myself he he gets torched all the time on my field. I see people that play press coverage with him though, and he doesn't let people off the off the press. But once you start to get their hips turned and running with players, that agility definitely matters as well. Oh yeah, agility definitely matters as well. Because those guys, like you said, they can they can shift and move fast quickly, and you want guys like that. So we got a tie ball game here. Marco trucking people. <laughs> got a tie ball game here between Fancy and KMac here. Third round action of Friday Night Football number thirty eight, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage, our new sponsor here, member of the Mutthead family, helping us put on these broadcasts every single week. And as you can see, we got our brand new studio here in Huntsville. So. We really appreciate Rocket Mortgage coming on board and you guys for supporting in the chat. So that's Lee Smith out in motion. No, actually, that's Johnu Smith, rather, out in motion here for KMAC. KMAC has really been utilizing this strong H wing to start drives. He's really com He comes out on that, runs the ball a little bit. He makes in his little, his little baby dots out of it. He has a little angle route out the backfield. And then he also has... The corner out to the the slot, not the slot, I'm sorry, the, the inside tight end. Looks like it's time for a giveaway in the chat. We are going to go much more quickly tonight. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, drops are broken tonight. We are aware. Thank you for letting us know time and time again in the chat. We know. But you guys have an opportunity. We're going to up the ante on you guys. If you guys win the giveaway, you can choose between Choi Polamalu or we'll give you a pack with Peyton Manning. Denzel Ward's most feared item, and Dominican Sue's most feared item, and Travis Frederick's most feared item, all four of those, or Troy Polamalu. So we have a post, or I'm sorry, a corner route, and that's going to be Tyler Lockett down inside the 10 to the 7. Not only are we going to give you the option of those, but we're going to be doing seven of those giveaways. So we've upped our nightly giveaway from five up to 10 total. Uh, we got seven more of this giveaway in the Big Kahuna. If you win the Big Kahuna tonight, We'll give you the Troy Polamalu as well as the Manning and then the three other most feared 92s. Sounds like, sounds like a great bargain to me. And also, because we are up in the ante, we're, we have more giveaways, that means your reroll timer just just decreased. It's just It got just that shorter. So make sure you check those whispers. Make sure you're following the chat because we will reroll you instantly. And just be a positive force for good. Yes, must be following in the chat to win. Don't get yourself timed out or else you won't be eligible. We are going to go ahead and roll one now. I will announce the winner as soon as Rockets gives us that name. That's coming through right now. Buffering, loading in my Discord, and it is double X, A-T-T, 11, double X. Has been following, so check your whispers. Mutthead TV will be whispering you. Again, our re-roll timer is going to be quick tonight. We've got seven of these to give away in the final three rounds, so we're going to keep it going. So if you don't respond to the whispers... You don't want to miss out. Third down and goal here for KMAC. I form H wing. He's going to go to the H tight. And this is what guys have been doing more of lately. They, they're coming out and the strong H wing. Audible into the I form H wing. And then Audible in the tight. I form tight. And then strong I tight. All these different formations right there. Touchdown KMAC. Goes up six. Probably goes up to seven points here. Dave Max looking really good so far. He's moving the ball, looking good out of that I form Titan, that strong IH wing. He's really just moving the ball and he's getting some effective offense so far. You see right there as K-Mac puts that extra point up and through. Seven-point ball game. This is a great matchup between K-Mac and Fancy. This is one that you could consider a final matchup. We're going to get this right here in our quarters tonight. I uh, saw someone in the chat say, Oh, because the drops are broken, only three other people are going to win giveaways? I mean, if you want to be snarky, technically it's five more, but, you know, math. I mean, hey, <laughs> I'll take I'll take a 92. What is it? It was Palomalu 92 or Stock 92 or yeah, 93? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'll take that car over some silvers any day. I'll take my chances. I know so, I saw someone say one out of 2,500 or 3,000. Hey, it's still much better than getting silver cars, if you ask me. Right. Like, okay, you know, you're talking about, I, I'm just going to be real with you guys. Like, okay, I get it. You're, you know, you get frustrated when your drops aren't working or whatever, but 
No, uh, if you if you want the the ninety nine training that much, go you know go buy a couple silvers. Yeah, I mean, or <laughs> matter of fact, who you remember the tag of the person? Yeah, I'm said? not sure. Go ahead and post it. I'll, I'll I'll give you I'll give you a gold card for for your trouble. I man. was just about to say, you know, you guys know that you know. Zan's a lot more emo than me. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just keeping it real. I don't have time. I don't have time for you know. If you if you bring the snark, I'm gonna bring it back. It's just the way it goes. We're out here trying to build community, man. If it, like I said, if it was as simple as us pressing a button, we would do it. But when things don't go right, we make sure to take the steps to make sure we can give more stuff to you. I mean, what's wrong with that? I get it. You're frustrated. I get it. First down and 10 here for Fancy Trips. Tight end is going to be Brandon Cooks in motion to the near side of the field. Dalvin Cook to Rogers left. Scan of the field. Good user right there by K-Mac. That's going to be a covered sack. Brandon King. There's another 10 cap. It's those minimum cap players. We see. We kicked it off right tonight with a Mike Hole fumble recovery. We saw Howard with three fumble recoveries in the mm -hmm. last game and an interception. He's 10 cap players. He has to make the curl. Plays. He's had to curl multiple times, but he just keeps missing it there. Even though he got the rack act there, that was a risky throw. It could have easily gone the other way, but somehow, some way, he got the rack act. He tried to click on the swerve a little bit. Maybe that assisted him just a tad. But he has the curl on the left side. Each time I've seen it on the field, it was it's been open. He just has to take it. Zethius in the chat while Boog says I'm being emo says nobody likes watching the guys run, run, run. Fancy. Fancy's throwing the pill right now. Yeah. He's, he's putting it in the air. He runs his trip side in. He's using a lot of motion, trying to, you know, constantly throw the ball. Mixes in the run as needed. But, I mean, we've seen tonight a lot of guys are uh, – a lot of guys are having these these stat lines of, like, five, six, seven rushes and no yards. I mean, we saw a VTech tonight – Negative yards with Gale Sayers. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not like the run game. The run game has gotten less effective every single week on Friday Night Football. Yeah, each week it's it's gotten less and less effective. Guys is really finding run defense. They're finding the the counters, the run abilities, like run stuff that's been added and increasing the block shed on the runs. So there's different things that's been added, and guys are learning the game. I learned something as far as run D today that I, that made me a whole lot happier about my run defense today. So. We're learning as we go, and as we learn, it's going to get back more and more. Now, we appreciate you guys in the chat chilling with us as we got fourth down and 12 here for Fancy. Down by seven. Here's Cooks in motion once again to the near side. Last time we ran the post over the middle. Let's see what the route combo is here. Going to go to the corner route. Here's the problem. No escape artist on that Rodgers. You know you're in trouble on that spot. Yeah, when you don't have that escape artist, it's – it's tough to get yards because, one, that escape artist gets you to the line of scrimmage so much faster. And then if you don't have escape artist, it's probably because your quarterback is already slow stock speed. And so once you pass that line of scrimmage, he's not going to get there the way that you would like him to get there. Now we're going to see K-Mac back on the offensive side of the ball with 240 left in the game. Strong H-wing. Good run defense once again by Fancy. And again, it's one of those stat lines, seven rushes, only 19 yards here for K-Mac. So, you know, these guys are not winning ball games running 80% of the time anymore. They have to show that they have some proficiency, even if they're passing from under center sets. Every single time he's put the ball in the air out of this set, there's been guys running wide open. His route combinations have been very solid. We're going to see a timeout taken right there by K-Mac, his first of the second half. We'll see if that comes back to bite him later on. I don't mind it in the first half, but... You always want to make sure you're keeping all three of those timeouts typically in the second half. Uh, you never know if you'll find yourself down late. Only thing I'd say to that as, I, as I'm sitting here thinking about it is when you feel like this drive is one of the more most important drives of the game, you burn that time. If you feel uncomfortable about something or unsure, just burn the timeout because if it's an important drive, You'd much rather make the right decision than to put yourself in a bad situation and not capitalize in the spot he's in right now. Down the seam, and that's going to be caught by Saquon Barkley. He likes using that running back on a streak out of the backfield in this I-form set. Kind of uses the receivers and the tight ends to press vertically off the line, pull the user out of the middle of the field, and then that running back leaks out of the backfield and hits the seam later. That can be a real pain to have to man that up. And then, uh, you know, when you have to use a linebacker to man that up, that's going to open up holes over the middle for the other receivers to get open as Barkley once again up the middle 
Picks up a gain of about eight. Uh, Compo in the chat said, I've never won anything on any stream either, and I keep coming back because it's fun to watch the stream. Hey, we appreciate Huge that. Huge shout out to you, Compo. For Compo or Comp, I don't know which one it is. Sometimes people put filler letters in, so I don't know which one it is. But however, appreciate you coming through. Also, appreciate every last one of you guys that's in the chat right now. And if this is your first time in the chat, type a one in the chat right now. If you've watched more than one, if you know off the top of your head or just a roundabout number how many Friday Night Footballs you've watched, Type that number in the chat right now. I want to know who's been rocking with this or who's new to the channel as well. And I want to make sure I shout you guys out. Looks like we have a clip potentially to show you guys and then another giveaway coming up here. So we'll get that clip for you. This will be from our one of our other quarterfinal games between Joff and Rage. Again, Rage playing some really good Madden right here. 7-7 seven, seven ball game, and it looks like Joff on offense down the seam, and that's a quick dot. Vic, Cooks, that's going to equal six. And I think that we had another clip potentially. Uh, we'll see if we can get that one for you. And again, it's going to be time for another giveaway. We got first down and 10 here. I form H tight. Here's the dive. Pollard It's going to pick up a short yardage. Again, with the drops being broken tonight. Oh, here's our other giveaway. This is Rage going back the other way. Well, Rob Button back. make it. Touchdown. Rage. Great response by Rage. He's really been balling out. That's kind of becoming the new little cute red zone dot. You know, everyone's kind of grown to expect that dot out of a split close, the wheel there, or bunch, the mesh post dot. Mm -hmm. But that little, uh, I, what is it, shotgun tight slots, that, yeah. that running back route, people sleep on that. Yeah, it's, it's a very effective route. Um, because you you can have flats to push out the the uh, flat zones, the pur purples, the clouds, the hard flats, whatever that may be on the field, and then the wheel route just comes in inside, and then you just dump it off and get an easy little touch pass. <laughs> Phaser in the chat said, oh, also James. So Phaser said he typed 45 for the number of FNFs he's witnessed. Uh, James typed 69. <laughs> Um, stick skills type 420. There's always those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got a couple <laughs> people. Those are first-time viewers. They're either first-time viewers or long-time trolls. Either way, we appreciate you guys being in the chat right now. <laughs> but we all know there's only been 38 Friday Night Footballs. This is the 38th one right here, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Huge shout-out to them as well. Here's another replay. This is Rage with a touchdown long run by Bo Jackson to give him the lead. So comes back from down seven, now up seven. This is K-Mac, fourth and three. He's going to put that field goal up, and that will give him a 10-point lead with just inside two minutes to go in this one. So uh, these games here starting to get a little bit hot and heavy as we head towards our semifinals. Uh, Rage right now up by 10. We have... Uh, See, we have a sub coming in. Oh, my guy, OG Primetime with the four months. Says, love Madden, love video games. Thanks, Bogues and Zan, for keeping it 100. Hey, that's you, you can expect that. I'm always going to uh, speak my mind here. Even oh, if yeah, it we know. If oh, it trust me. If, even if it, doesn't, <laughs> if, if it doesn't make you happy, I'm still going to say it, period. But again, guys, with uh, plenty of giveaways on deck, the, the Choi Palamalu, because those drops are not active right now, we'll be giving away, I think we still have six more of those. And if you don't want the Polamalu, Paul, Paul you can pick uh, a Peyton Manning along with the Frederick Ward and a Dominican Sue. So four most feared items if you do not want the Polamalu. Chat, which one, are, if you win, if you win the giveaway, which one are you taking? Are you taking the Polamalu or are you taking the Peyton Manning pack? My team needs bodies. I'm taking all of the most feared items if it's me. Because I've got Jamal Adams right now at safety. So that's one spot I know I'm okay at. I'm, I'm taking Manning. I'm taking taking all those players. I need another D tackle. You definitely use a center. Yeah. I, I don't know. I may – I'll probably end up taking the Palomalu. Not going to lie. I, I, I feel like I, I always go for the Mutt 10 cars over anything. I don't know why. Maybe I just have a soft spot for the Mutt 10 cars. However – I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Call me crazy. Let us know in the chat. What are you guys? Uh, what are you guys doing? I mean, some of you out there are going to get to pick your mutt ten item if you've been keeping up with the solos. 
What, which one of those, all of all those items that we've given away uh, over the weeks, these Mutt 10 items, the Bo Jackson, the Calvin, all those guys, uh, Joe Thomas, mm-hmm. you finish those solos, who's the guy 